on the streets, she knows he looks like all the other homeless and addicted kids shooting up, asking for handouts. He's sleeping in doorways. But when Susan Bassett thinks of her son, she doesn't picture him that way. He's still my baby. A smart little boy who could charm anyone. A spunky little thing. Everyone would tell you that. Everyone loved him. But when he was 12, he got hooked on drugs. High school kids, the older kids, were getting him to hold the drugs for him and rewarding him at the end of the day. That was three years ago. He's only 15 now. I just want him to get help. She knows the only thing harder than being an addict may be loving an addict. My biggest fear is him shooting fentanyl and just... Dying. Dying is the word she does not want to say. Yeah. We need to do something. He's been to rehab. He was clean for almost a year. He even finished 10th grade. But he is an addict. Well, he's only got four minutes if he shoots too much fentanyl. And he's shooting heroin, fentanyl and meth in his neck. Still, he always stayed in touch. He also sent her poems he wrote. Lost minor. Someone who can't look into the mirror and be proud. But she hasn't seen him since Sunday. We've put posters out. We've put it on Facebook. We phoned the police. There have even been trips to the downtown east side searching. I just want him home. But then in that funny way life has, while she's reaching out to the media asking for help, her phone rings. A group home is calling. He's there, and he's asked them to call his mom to let her know he's safe. He asked them to phone detox. She is the mother of an addict, and in this moment, at least, she can breathe. Oh, Deborah Goble, CBC News, Richmond.